How did your body get under Joe Weider's head? Ralph was the person that put that whole thing together, and all I had to do was cross my arm yeah. and flex. Wow. We was invited to the grand opening. Weider came up and says, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sent here to embroil the box. When he flipped it off, everybody was like, he had taken my head off and put his head on my body. These are pictures I've never seen before. He's like, which pose should I use for the bust? Which yeah. one should it be? It's or is it this one? Look see what he's doing? The weed is. You've contacted me online on Instagram. Yeah. You've left me with the message of, let's collaborate. This is the bust that was supposed to be unveiled 50 years ago. <laughs> Don't you think that anybody else has a chance to beat you like Robbie Robbins? No, come on, Joe. You, know, you got to be more powerful than anything that can happen. I think that Robbie's going to be the great black hope. <laughs> <laughs> if you let anything crack, this you don't. When he flipped it off, everybody was like... Oh. Robbie, you gotta tell the story about the bust. We have heard about it in the past. We've showed them the magazines. This is Robbie, 1979, September. And then two months later, November, there's Joe. They look alike. Except for, except for what? He's missing the fro, the Fu Manchu. <laughs> yeah. So what happened? How did your body get under Joe Weider's head? Tell us about it. What happened over there? You no, know, I was actually sending your know, pose for a bus. Yes. Which would include my whole image. Yes. My hair, the whole the way I look on that magazine over there. Yeah. The whole yeah. Things are supposed to have been my body, which would represent all the reader, reader business or reader company all over the world. Uh huh. And in the process of doing that, I was sitting there, uh, not thinking in terms of being used or anything like that. I thought it was a great idea. Yeah. I thought they were going to use, you know, a black man's but, image. But didn't you get a little suspicious? Like he would. You know, I, you know, I was, I was in awe about it. I was like, wow, this person. Seriously, because he was really talking, you know, from his heart about it and yeah. what he wanted to do. So I'm listening to this person want to create my physique yes. and make it the monument of his company. And I thought, wow, that is, that's, that's was kind of strange. Yeah. Because you, you, that is just not something you would think it possible or can happen. And so I posed for the bus the first day. And then the guy came in, the artist came in with the scrapless and all these little tools. Wow. And it had this big hunk of clay on the table. And all I had to do was cross my arm yeah. and flex wow. all the muscles. Wow, epic. And it just came out beautiful. And the guy was taking the scrapless. By the way, the guy, his name is Ralph Crawford. He's Ralph. Ralph Crawford. He's the guy that built Ralph. This. Ralph was the person that put that whole thing together. He was able to carve all the lines yes. and the cuts and separation of the muscles and yes. making the muscle, the, the physique look like, you know, in, in, I mean, in bronze. Yes. By the time we, we, we was getting heavy into it, and for some unknown reason, my lady friend Elaine at that point yes. became ballistic because she realized what was happening. I was still in a fog. Yeah. And she came to me and she said, listen, they just, they're abusing this. They're using your body as the image for this company. And she said, Robbie, they are not going to put your head on the pink. And when they got through with it, when the guy finished it, 
we were both sitting there, both our mouths were hanging open because they had the whole image, my hair, everything, Wu Man Two Mustang, everything wow. was on that bus. Wow. And then we, we was invited to the grand opening of the, 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 the what they call it, the, the, uh, the showing. The unveiling. The, the unveiling, unveiling yeah. yes. The unveiling of yeah. the bus. And we all sitting there. Um, so it was covered with a veil. You told, you said it was like a blue veil or it something. Was a blue veil. The yeah. whole thing was over it. Wow. It was on the stage, and then a lot of people were there, and and Weeda came up and says, "Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm set here to unveil the bus." When he flipped it off, everybody was like, <laughs> caught in a. They couldn't believe what they were seeing wow. because that wasn't what everybody had saw. Wow. He had taken my head off and put his head on my body wow. and made it the monument for their yeah. whole company all over the world. To and this they're still day. doing that all over the world. To this day. To this day. And, and to me, no, nobody can say. And I mean, to me, when I went to a lawyer with that, the lawyer told me again, I would have to pay an untold amount of money that they wouldn't even take the case. They wouldn't even take the case because of we. They told me uh, I got a thing from his lawyers where I had to pay his lawyer fees. Wow. And from that point on, I, I didn't want to have anything to do with it. Wow. I just left. I left here, went back to Europe and stayed over there for 12 years. Wow. <clears throat> Robbie, I found, you know, I always find pictures. Well, I got a picture. This yeah. is you. This is an exclusive picture yeah. that I got it. It's amazing how you come from. from <laughs> this is you you're, posing you're, you're for Joe yep. in his office, yep. and he's because looking for he, the pose. He, he just marvelled at the physique. He really wanted to have my physique. He's like, which pose should I use for the bust? Which yeah. one should it be, it's or is it this one? Look and see what he's doing. Yeah, he's seeing all of this. He. It was just like a whole nother physique. These are pictures I've never seen before. Like these, these are I've never seen these. Pictures. Yeah. Well, I, I had to pay some money for this, but okay. we got him. You had to pay money for these. Of course. Amazing. You know, this is nothing's free, man. Nothing. But we got him. Amazing. And like anything, like even the footage from hundred plus hours that somewhere we got pictures, and this is you right before he started making the bust. Yeah. And he was like. Which one should it be? Is it the side chest? Yeah, Is it the double buy? Exactly. Yeah. And he settled for the cross thing. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And he went to work. Ralph Crawford created the bust and then unveiled it with his Stole head. Stole the physique. Stole the physique. And Maybe. to this day, so sad. You know, 50 years later, I see it on YouTube. The Olympia TV, there's a YouTube channel, Olympia TV, really? using the bust as a logo. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have, um, you know. It has a connection with Weeder? Well, it's the Olympia. Oh. So, and, okay, okay. and yeah, and the logo is the bus. I mean, I'm interested in why they want, what they want to collaborate with me with. Yeah, that's a good question. We, we need to find out we what's the find collab out what they want to collaborate me on about. I'm, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to send it to you, Spa. Yeah. 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 Actually, uh, I saw it. I, I you saw got it. it. Yeah, I got it. I took a screenshot. So, <sighs> so yeah. They're asking to collaborate. They slid in. What they want to collaborate? They slid with? in Robbie's DM and they're like, we want to collaborate on this picture of Robbie. Robbie, we are posting on our page. Can you collaborate and post it on your page? Well, how about some royalties or something for using my likeness? Yeah. When you were worth $400 million and I got nothing. And uh, how about that collaboration? Let's Can collaborate on that. Yeah, let's exactly. collaborate on that. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I think. I think if the weeders really want to collaborate, yeah. go back and collaborate and pay me for money for all those years. Yeah. How much money would they have left after that? For yeah, exactly. Million? But you know what? You know what you say? Anything is possible. Anything. Anything yeah. is possible. So you got the information. Ask them what we want to collaborate. On. Yeah. So, message to the weeders, what do you guys want to collaborate on? Exactly. Let us know. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> the weeders, you've contacted me online on Instagram. Yeah. You've left me with the message of, let's collaborate. Yeah. I wish you all the success. Robbie, let's take a quick two minute break. Two minutes later. Okay, Robbie. So, when you said uh, blue veil, <laughs> 
Does this look this familiar? Is yeah. This is it. This did look familiar. Okay, so 50 years later, I got goosebumps, Robbie. We're changing history. This is the bust that was supposed to be unveiled 50 years ago. <laughs> that is awesome, Spa. That is cold blooded. Robbie. That's how it's supposed to be right there. This is the bus. Amazing. I'm gonna post that tonight. <laughs> I love it. That is cold blooded. I mean, we Amazing. got the we got the fro. You got hey, the whole nine. We yards. got the Fu Manchu. You got the Fu Manchu. I even have an earring over here. <laughs> I love it. That is so cold blooded. I mean, Amazing. this one. This one has way more detail. It's than beautiful. More detail than the one that they have. It's, yeah. it's awesome. I love that spot. Oh yeah. So this is the bust the way it was supposed to be. The original one. This, this is, is how it was supposed to have looked. We're changing history.